All right. I got that done. So, as you can see in the video, what I was doing was um, putting some rock down in here. This particular rock that I'm using here is called Surge. It's kind of a smaller version of uh, Rip Wrap for the most part. Uh, it's about the size of a, a softball. There's some pieces that might be a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller. But for the most part, this stuff is about the size of a softball. And so this is a good material to use in areas where you're trying to accomplish some erosion control. Or in this case, what I have going on is you can kind of see in the background here, this is our lake. We share this lake with a neighbor, so we're about 50-50 on the ownership of this lake. <clears throat> but uh, I take on the responsibility of the, uh, this is the deep end of the lake and this is also where the dam is so this road that's kind of going across here this is the top of the dam and so i'll show you our drainage system that we have here in just a second but what was happening was is that after we had calculated and calculated <laughs> and calculated when we put our new drainage system in um, we wanted to raise the level of the lake as much as we could um, without it leaking out anywhere else other than the drain pipe. And um, we got this thing so close right here on this corner in comparison to when it starts to drain out of the, out of the drainage pipe uh, that I get a little bit of drainage out of this corner before the drain pipe starts to kick in and drain it the normal means. This was the low area right here. And I literally had just kind of a river that was coming right down this power line. And it was just full of small fish <laughs> that it was just sucking right out of the the lake and my wife and i were down there with buckets and we we're trying to pick up all these little baby fishes but best we could and get them back into the lake but um, so this was just something that i i needed to do i need to just build up this area right here so that um if it rains that hard again that this won't be the path of least resistance now it's got a pretty good wall of rock through there Okay, so now I'm about halfway across the dam. Uh, down there is where I had piled all the rocket up a little while ago that I just showed you there. And so we're about halfway across the, the dam right here. And um, so this is the, the drain system that we have right here. And so this is a, a siphon type of system. And so the way that this works is that as the lake level rises water will get up inside of this pipe right here and if the water level of the lake gets high enough it'll block off it'll block off this breather tube now right now i have this breather tube capped because i was trying to get this thing to drain as soon as possible when the lake level raised or rose whatever but anyway, normally what happens is this breather tube is allowing air into the system. As the lake level rises, water's filling up this tube right here. And when it gets up to the top and the water level starts to block off this breather tube right here, then it's gonna, going to allow a venturi to take place and water is going to flow out of the lake and it's going to start to drain. And so that's a... Uh, eight inch pipe right there right there that flows down the back side of the dam and when that thing starts sucking water out of there I mean it is really sucking a lot of water uh, and it does a good job of siphoning it it's just the problem was is that when we determined the height of this um, we we got it a little bit too close to that area over there on the other side where I just put all that rock so what happens is is this thing starts to siphon out 
about the same time that it starts coming out of the other side of the lake and so we got it just a little too close so what i needed to do was build up that other area down there so that this will take effect first and it'll start to drain out of this system before it starts to come out of the other end of the lake all right so that was the uh, pile that i was working on and uh, i managed to get almost all of it out of there um, and you might be wondering you know why did i have the pile up here when i was hauling it all the way down there i could have just had the, the uh, dump truck dump it down there uh, and that was because I was using that surge for different things. Um, most of it was going to be down there, but I also needed to haul of it, haul some of it on the uh, back side of the barn over there. I was having a little bit of a wash issue. I'll show you that here in a second. And then also uh, down that driveway, I was having. Uh, I always try to keep that maintained with some rock and stuff in there to keep to keep any uh, erosion from taking place. So I was kind of moving it to three different areas with the vast majority going down there but um that's that's why just to make it easy on the on the dump truck guy and and uh and moving it around i just put it in a central location right here i also had a load of 57 put in here and uh just redid the driveway as well so let's go take a look at that stuff all right so one of the other things i used some of that surge for was to build this area back up right here so this is um this is kind of right next to the barn right here. But our riding arena, um, we get some rain and it'll come down this slope right there. And it will kind of come down this driveway and it'll start to build up some steam if we get enough rain. And uh, that becomes kind of an erosion area right there. So over the years, I've just kind of built that up so it doesn't just take out all that area down there heading to the lake it just kind of controls it a little bit disperses it and uh doesn't tear things up so that was another reason why i had them deliver that where it was because i needed to put some of it down here but another thing i needed to do with it was over here on the other side of the barn all right and then the other thing i used that surge for was back here on the back side of the barn so a couple of years ago we were noticing that um, during heavy rains um, i don't want you to think that we get so much rain around here that the place is just a flood zone because it's not it's just sometimes these things kind of show themselves to you and they need to be fixed but uh, what would happen is um, we would get water that would seep into the stalls on the inside and it would just get kind of slushy in there especially in like one corner or one side of the stall so what I did was I came out here through the skid steer and I kind of took the top off a little bit and just kind of pulled it all down so that we could create a little bit of a downslope to keep that from happening. And then of course what started to happen is some of the mother dirt um, that's, you know, the barn is, is the foundation of the barn basically, uh, it just started to pull away. So we were having a little bit of an erosion issue as a result of me trying to grade that a little bit. And so the best way to control that is just stick that surge up in there and keep that from happening. So that was another reason why I had to put it where I did because I needed to bring some of it back here and use it for that. Also a little bit of erosion control right in this area. You kind of see the difference here. Uh, you see this stuff right here, which is the surge, what we just talked about. But this stuff over here, this is riprap. And so this is what what I put on this hill when I when I built this barn about eight, ten years ago, I guess. Um, so this stuff's a little bit bigger. On average, this side, this stuff right here would be about the size of a volleyball. So a little bit bigger stuff. So that's kind of the difference between um, riprap, and this is on the smaller side of riprap, and what they call surge. So uh, both of these types of materials are very good for erosion control, putting up against areas where you might have a little wash, something like that. And lastly, uh, when I had the surge delivered, I also had a load of 57 delivered too, and that's the rock that's in this area here. And that's, this, this stuff's just good for driveways. So I put it all around back here and all the way across the, the front of the barn out there and kind of going around the driveway until I ran out 
and then we'll get some more delivered here shortly all right so uh i hadn't posted anything in a while so um i just kind of took a break for a minute i had a lot of small jobs that i was doing around here but uh, i didn't bother to video any of them but i am glad to have that job done uh, i think that's going to be a big help for that corner of the lake over there to keep it from rushing out of there and eroding away in uh, 20 years i have put a lot of work into this lake and uh, it's it's healthy uh, it keeps a good volume in it at this point uh, a lot of fish in it and uh, just we really in, enjoy this lake both uh, myself and uh, our neighbors so that is another effort towards keeping this lake healthy and uh, and active and so i will call this job done on to the next job <laughs>